Today, I'm going to show you how to use an incredibly simple and powerful editing app called ClipChamp, and it's been hiding under your nose all along. Let's jump in. Now, ClipChamp is Microsoft's editing software that comes pre-installed on most Windows PCs that have Windows 11 or presumably higher. And if you don't see it, when you search for it under the search bar, you could go to the Microsoft Store and download it there. If you have a Microsoft account, which you would if you have a Windows, then it is completely free. So once you get it all set up and downloaded, you'll see an interface that looks much like this. And I do wanna say there is a premium version that you can pay additional for, which gives you a few more features. You could have higher resolution videos when you output them, things like that. But there's a lot that you can do within the free version that comes included. And I'll put a link in the description below to be able to download this app very easily. So you don't have to worry about that there. Now they got a couple of options here, recording yourself or a text to speech, some templates that are built in, some of your existing projects that are all in here. I'm gonna walk you through how to create a brand new project from scratch. So we're gonna start up here and we're gonna click the create a new video, start from scratch. And the first time that you're using this app, you'll see a lot of pop-ups showing you what you can do. So you could set it to light or dark which I'm just gonna use my system for that. We're just gonna skip through this for right now. Now, the main editor here will open and here you can change the aspect ratio depending on where you want this to be. If it's a, a traditional YouTube video that's the widescreen format or if you wanted to switch to a vertical for like TikTok or Instagram Reels or Square for Instagram posts and Facebook and things like that, you can kind of change that around. Classic 4.3 if you want like a TV uh, kind of element or the extremely cinematic, you have all those in there. We're just gonna do the standard wide screen format here. And then uh, to add media, what you wanna do is click the plus icon on the left hand of the screen here where it says import media. So here you can just navigate to whatever files that you want. We're gonna go into the Howfinity folder here, get some footage, a recent video. We're just gonna grab these two here. We're gonna open those up. And then it'll just take a few minutes to, to import. You can see the progress bar here showing you the clips that are being imported in there. You can also, if you have File Explorer open, you can just drag and drop files in there as well that way. And while that video is loading, I'll show you over on the side here, you can record a video. You can record you know, with your webcam or record uh, your screen. So that's great for doing tutorials much like this where you can record your screen while you're talking and then they have a content library. So you could search for a lot of different elements. And this probably looks familiar to you if you've used anything like Canva or, or something like that, where you have all these sorts of backgrounds and images and frames, you know, whatever, subscribe stickers, you know, for YouTube videos, that sort of thing. And when you wanna select something, all you have to do is like click that video, you'll see you can just hover over top, that highlights this area and drop it into the timeline. You can see up here, it's importing it to generate the preview of what you're looking at. And you adjust these handles to adjust the length of the video or where you want it to cut off, things like that. And here you can arrange the clips if you have multiple clips that you wanna put in there and you can have those sort of, you could reverse the order of them, grab this one, bring that. So you can adjust everything that you need to right on there. Now you see what that does is now we have, we can add text on top of those. We could add audio below that. Again, if you, you can either import those elements if you have like an audio file that you wanna play on top of there. And then if you're looking at the clip specifically, you can see a little scissors here to split the clip so that you now have one clip turns into two clips, that sort of thing. You can move this to the end, however you wanna do that. And then we're gonna go back into the content library. We're gonna to go to all, we're gonna go audio and you can see we could go to music. We could add some music down here below. There you go. And then you can see old time, the end footage you can play back through here. This gives you a preview of everything that you're looking at. And if you look at what you have over here, your assets, you can see everything sort of loading in as we go along there. And then if you go into the text, you could add some text on top of this, and then that's fully editable. So you can now click on that and open up the text menu here and call this Andy, right? 
and we can add that in there that way. And then that's a little dark, so let's change the color, make that white, see? And that just is right over top, so we don't want that quite there. You just grab and hold it, and now you can bring it wherever you want, change the size, just like that. And then same rules apply. You can slide this wherever you want. Maybe you want that at the beginning. Oh, now we want it down there, right? We don't want it to be on that long. And you just make all those adjustments just like that. And now we have the audio that's in there. And you can see every time that I click on a certain type of clip, it changes the options that are over here. So now we have a volume that we can adjust the music volume. I'm just gonna play that back. There you go, and you can make that even quieter, whatever you want, right? So it's already looking good. And let's say you wanna record a voiceover. Now we're talking directly into this and we can have this be whatever we need it to be. We're talking over top of the video to create a voiceover that way. You could record this and we say, hey, this is a voiceover. I just wanna add some dialogue to my video here. And you say, save and edit. And now we have that voiceover added in there. Just go back to the beginning here. Add that below the music there. There is a blank spot in the beginning, so we're just gonna drag that over and you can see the wave file shows you exactly what that looks like. So I have that come in here and now we can preview all that back. Record this and we say, hey, this is a voiceover. And you see really easily that you can just keep adding elements however you want it to be and making all the adjustments and previewing it back right in there. Once you have everything added to the video just the way that you want it, you just go up here to export and it's telling me that there's a gap in the video. So we could go back to that and say, delete the visual gaps. So you can see it corrected that. It, it had detected for me that there was a gap in the video. Uh, and now that that's fixed, we can go up to the export and we'll do the 1080p. And you can either have it saved to the OneDrive, saved to your Google Drive, upload directly to YouTube or uh, wherever you want it to be, okay? So we're just gonna have it saved to the OneDrive and we'll call this uh, my first video. And send, change the title of the video here. So it's gonna do what it needs to do there. So as you can see, a lot of powerful tools built right into ClipChamp that's already installed on your computer if you have Windows 11. And with that, I hope you found this video helpful and I'll see you in the next one.